who's an advisor to the CEO of the State Oil Fund, Oil and Gas Fund, Energy Fund of the Republic of Azerbaijan. Nargis, thank you very much. A state oil fund looks to be obvious what it means, but your state oil fund has a mission, and it's in many different directions. Please help me understand what the mission is, and I congratulate you for 20 years of success. Good evening to you. Good evening and welcome to Azerbaijan. Thank you very much for for inviting us to be on the show. Um, As you mentioned, the State Oil Fund of Azerbaijan is a sovereign wealth fund of of our country. And our main goal is to transfer the depletable hydrocarbon reserves of the country into financial assets that can generate perpetual income for current and future generations of the country. So we work in three main directions – Our first objection is to ensure the macroeconomic stability of the country, to be that cushion against the oil price fluctuations. As any energy producer, we are um, very vulnerable to that. And having a sovereign wealth fund protects the economy from any any shocks in the oil oil prices. Our second direction is um, investment financial investments in important social and economic projects that are important for the country right now. We have um, invested tens of millions of dollars in important projects like the the relocation of internally displaced people and the refugees in Azerbaijan, uh, financing two major um, oil and gas pipelines. We have... um, flagship project of education abroad when 3,500 Azerbaijani nationals, young children in Azerbaijan, had a chance to um, uh, to obtain education in the world's top universities um, in, in more than 30 countries in the world. We have um, an irrigation systems, um, the, the, the irrigation projects, and many others. And the, the third um, important direction of our work is uh, the assets that we have under management that is investing and growing these assets for future generations. So you have missions in different directions. I want to concentrate on the future because that's exciting. What I've learned traveling around Azerbaijan for three years now is that uh, Azerbaijan knows that its young people are the future. And you mentioned education. And I want to know, do the young people understand what you're doing here? Do you have an opportunity to tell them that you're thinking about their future and their children's future. You're looking out uh, the, to the balance of the century. Do they know that? Uh, we are in constant uh, in, in constant touch with the with the youth of the of, our, of the country. A lot of our our team is very young. Uh, a lot of our um, team members are actually teaching in various universities in Azerbaijan. Uh, in addition to their work. We also uh, constantly have internships of the of the students of Azerbaijan universities. Right now, in the um, within the framework of the celebration of our 20th anniversary, we have just launched a stock pitch competition that is open for all the uh, undergraduate and graduate students in Azerbaijan. And we're very excited because we get a lot of interest, and we already work with uh, uh, with prospective participants. And uh, we're looking forward for this project to actually kick off. This is an energy-rich part of the world, the Caspian Sea Basin, but there are other energy-rich parts of the world. I come from one. That would be the United States. And so, therefore, there must be opportunity for you to travel and and be in symposiums and with your colleagues. What do you learn about how other states, sovereign funds, with energy riches, how they manage compared to yours? Are are there styles that you learn from? Well, obviously, uh, first... Before the creation of the State Oil Fund, the the government of Azerbaijan had uh, extensive 
uh, research and the, we, we've, we've took the best of all the various funds. We traveled to Norway, we traveled to Alaska. We've seen what the what, what, um, most successful sovereign wealth funds in the world are doing. We are members of the International um, Forum of Sovereign Wealth Funds, and we have hosted uh, the annual meeting of this uh, group in Azerbaijan we ho- before, and we're planning to host them again next year. We attend annual meetings, and we're in constant touch with all of our colleagues. And obviously, this is um, there are around 30 sovereign wealth funds in the world, uh, and we're in constant touch, learning all the best practices from them. Uh, right now, I can see about the middle of the century for the planning that's going on in the United States. What does what does Baku, what does Azerbaijan look to you, look like to you, to your sovereign fund, thirty years from now? Is it is it transformed? Do you have a new energy source? You know, there's some big dreams back in the United States, political dreams about renewables. Do you talk about that here as well? Very much, because uh, for us, the long term future of the country is very important. So we are. Uh, as a government, uh, as, as, as members of the government and as the, the group in the country that thinks of the long-term future, we're uh, closely monitoring uh, the trends in the, energy, um, in, in the energy sector. We talk to all the oil companies that are working in Azerbaijan because we, we meet chief economists of every oil company who comes to Azerbaijan uh, because our revenues are coming from them. So it's very important for us to understand how their business will develop because this is the outlook of our future revenues. In terms of our investment strategy, we are investing uh, the 40, almost $40 billion that we have under our management. We have a very diversified um, investment strategy, but we do not invest in energy ourselves. Because we are receiving uh, our revenue from uh, energy, we, we, we want to diversify and diversify our risks, and this is why our investment are going in, um, in, in a variety of sectors, uh, but we, we, we're not investing in energy right now. Yes, there are trends. I read about them. We could talk about Norway. You mentioned it, so it's always fun to talk about Norway. Uh, the United States is an energy superpower. You are part of the energy superpower of the Caspian Sea. Now the natural gas is coming online with the Southern Gas Corridor, a great success. So what happens next for you is that you're going to have revenue coming into other countries that are learning, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, revenue. Are they asking to cooperate or to learn from you? Are you looking for regional, uh, a regional uh, sympathy? Uh, to, to, they, they say to you, look, you did it right. Can you teach us? We, we will be very happy to share experience. Right now, we have actually been uh, requested by the Central Bank of Israel, ah. which is hosting... Israeli sovereign wealth fund. Right, it's not a separate body. Yes, exactly. Yes. The fact that this fund has been set up so early on in the history of the country and it's sustained and it's constantly growing is a great achievement for the country and it's also um, a, a, a guarantor of success. Nargis Nasrallayeva is the advisor to the CEO of the state oil fund, oil and gas, think energy, of the Republic of Azerbaijan. I wish it happy birthday, 20 years old. And I look to continue this conversation as others learn from the success in Azerbaijan. I'm John Batchelor. I'm on the road. I'm on Baku. It's a beautiful spring day. This is the John Batchelor Show. Thanks to Scott.